Hey everyone, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use speed ramping within Filmora 12. Make sure you check out the link down below in the description box and download Filmora. And this little video that I'm gonna be editing today is basically my friend messing around with nunchucks, and we wanted to make a fun intro for a video for his channel on unboxing a brand new electric unicycle. I know it sounds random, but trust me, this is a lot of fun. So let me play you the clip, and we'll go from there. And action. Unboxing time! So that is the raw clip direct out of the camera. We can make this so much better, not with only sound effects, but with speed ramping as well. If you watch a lot of kung fu movies, all the fight scenes are mainly sped up. That's what makes everything seem so quick and intense. So I want to replicate that into this clip. So here's the timeline. I already have some footage loaded in. As you can see, I start with a whip pan to my friend Law, and then I come in with the camera. So I wanna speed up this whip pan. And the best way to do this is obviously with speed ramping. So I'm gonna double click on the clip. I'm gonna to go to speed, and then you have two options. You can go to uniform speed or speed ramping. We're gonna click on the speed ramping option. That way we can increase the speed, decrease the speed, and make it a smooth linear transition. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of different presets within the speed ramping option. As you click through them, you can see how the keyframes are changing. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna keep things at customized so we can add our own individual timing and keyframes for that speed ramping. So I'm gonna to go to the beginning of the clip, which is also right here. We are going to increase the speed all the way up until here. So let's see how that looks. Whoa, quick, that was really quick. So let me slow it down just a little bit by dragging this lower. And then I want to move this keyframe. So this is when we go back to normal speed, as you can see here, one X is normal speed. I'm gonna drop it down right there. Let's see how that looks. That was cool. All right, so we go from high speed all the way to normal speed. All right, and then we pull back. I want that to go from normal speed back up to high speed. So I'm gonna drag this keyframe here. We're gonna bring it up. So let's see how that looks so far. Boom, 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 boom. That's a little bit too fast. So we're gonna slow it down by dragging down this keyframe. So let's see how that looks. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, <laughs> a little bit too fast. So we're actually just gonna move that keyframe over here. And as you can see, everything is linear and smooth. This is exactly what you want with speed ramping. So that way it doesn't look too choppy. So let's try it again. Right there as he comes in for the hit, I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna go to the next clip of him hitting the box. This is a wide shot, so right there. So here's how it looks so far. We play back the clip, boom, 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 boom with the nunchucks, and boom, he hits the box, great. So as soon as he hits the box, I have another shot of the box popping open. So let's cut to that, look at that. And that's our sequence that we have with speed wrapping. So let's play it back. Boom, 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 boom. Very good, very up paced. Yes, that's fantastic. Now to really polish this footage off, we're gonna do some color grading, add some sound effects, and here is the final result. Unboxing time! And it's as simple as that. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like, and I'll see you in another one. Peace.